we got the No Fine Print Cabernet 2016. Kind of a young Cabernet, so we're gonna decant this baby. So typically when it comes to decanting, you want to um, watch for sediment, but this is just young, so you just dump it in. What up everybody? It's your boy, Martin. Meyer Mars, Meyer Noodles, Mars, Merlot Mar, here again for some wine talk. Got a very special wine for you today. Some really special stuff, exclusive stuff, stuff you can only get at one store in Chicago, made by two game players in the music industry. They both represent two of the biggest artists that you know, one of them locally, one of them being Chance the Rapper, um, the other being Skrillex, um, hope that doesn't give away too much stuff right now, but some really exclusive stuff, shout out to them, but first let's uh, get to the wine, so uh, I've been decanting this for like two, three hours now, love it, um, it's, it's a little young, so with young wine, I always recommend decanting, which I have a video on, which I did earlier, which you'll see, hopefully when I put this all together for the YouTube. So let's take it, let's take a little gander here. So what do we got in the color? We got a deep purple, really dark, deep purple, dark. No, and no, no, not a lot of rim variation, that's gonna, when you don't get rim variation, that's when you get different colors on the edges. That's a sign of a, a older, young wine. This is a young wine. It's got two years on it, so not that young actually, but it's still young from what, I'm, from what I like, but it smells really good. So let's take it to the nose. The nose, I'm getting a lot of dark fruits, a little bit dried, slightly ripe. Um, like dark currant, um, really dark raspberries, dark cherry, secondary flavors, um, some chocolate, cocoa, slightly, not a lot of oak, but a little bit, like a little bit of that new oak, some dill, some, some chocolate for sure. Um, the dill is apparent, so you know you're getting some oak in there, but not too much. A little of that cigar box. Um, licorice for sure, some mint, some spices are in there for sure. A little flower, dried flower, we got this potpourri going on. It's really, it's bright, it's, it's young, it's beautiful, it's, it, you, you can smell the juiciness. Let's take it to the palate. Wow, on the palate, super fruity, super juicy. Um, like I said, I confirmed the dark fruits. <laughs> That's right, hold on, everybody. If you're drinking your wine right now, put it up to your nose and pay some gratitude for everything that has come to us, for us to be in this moment right now together, for you to be watching this video. Thank you so much. And then we take a sip. And that's what's for to come, baby. Nothing but good things. So, mm, it's pretty good. Um, on the palate, you know, it's fruity. Like I said, it's young. It's, it's very evident of a young wine. Um, right away, the grapes that come to me, Merlot, um, could be Zinfandel, but I know what this is. It's Cabernet, obviously, and it's very, I mean, even if I did, I would, in a blind taste, I could probably get this. Um, maybe not, because there's a couple things I'll tell you that are missing from, 
from a from a standard typical Cabernet, which is not bad at all, which makes this really approachable. Is one is the alcohol is not huge. It's not the biggest. Like a lot of everyone in Napa wants to, you know, shove their balls in each other's faces and see who can make the biggest Cabernet, and everyone wants to have big, big, big. But it doesn't have to be like that. What I like about this is that it's very structured. You don't have really high alcohol. The alcohol is fair. The acidity is there, so you know it's going to go with food. The tannin is not too gripping, but you can you can feel it. The tannin is there, so all around the board, it's just very structured. Um, I really like this wine. This is just it's it's great because everyone loves Cabernet, but they but this is a very approachable Cabernet. When you when you buy a lot of young Cabernet, it can be really tight. Um, I mean, I did decant this for a couple hours, so I would recommend maybe decanting it. I tried it a little while ago, and it does taste a lot better before I decanted it, but it still tasted good then. Um, so what are we at? This is no fine print. Shout out to shout out to Pat Corcoran, um, manager of Chance the Rapper, and. Tim Smith, manager of Skrillex. This is in collaboration with Ryan Arnold. Shout out to Let Us Entertain You. I worked for Let Us Entertain You for a while. I know Ryan Arnold is a mastermind, built a lot of wine lists within the company, and so is doing good stuff. This is grapes um, sourced from all over California. Doesn't say a region, um, but if I know what Ryan Arnold's doing, I know he's doing good stuff. And it's solid. It's really good. I think I paid $20 or less. You can only really get this at Noble Grape on Chicago Avenue. So go to Noble Grape and get no fine print. They also have a more, a more higher end bottle as well, which I'll probably have to do another time, um, another episode. Close a few deals. I got a few deals closing up, so it might be in the budget soon, and we'll get that done. But for now, I was drinking on this. Perfectly good. This is great for any type of function or gathering that you have where you got to impress, bring some good wine. People are going to talk about this, I promise. People are going to talk about this for sure. Pairing-wise, it's going to go good with steak, but I'll tell you that the, t the tannin wasn't all the way there, so it's it would... It's like, it could, it's, that means it's versatile. It's going to go with any of your meats, um, you know, pork, um, can even maybe go with salmon, um, all your game meats, venison, de venison, bison, lamb, all that's going to go perfect with. Um, filet mignon, I would for sure prefer put this with. Your ribeye, maybe not, but it could still, I mean, it's going to go good with it. And my my personal thing is, if you like it, just drink it. That's all there is to it. So anyways, um, no fine print. Um, you know, good local people are doing this and that's what it's all about at the end of the day is just doing the good thing, giving people good value. There's a lot of, I've been in the wine industry for a while. There's a lot of people trying to rip people off and I know these people aren't. So shout out to Pat Corcoran and Tim Smith, Ryan Arnold for doing your thing because this is very approachable wine. Um, like I'll for sure recommend this to anyone who wants to impress people. And I can't wait to drink your, uh, your other label, your more higher end label. So to good people, good times, good wine. That's all there is in life. You know, you just gotta enjoy it. And another wine talk. If you got any questions, hit me up. Um, this is Merlot Mar on YouTube. Um, some good stuff, actually. Jamie. So hit me up. Ooh, the plum is starting to set in. I was feeling that before, the plum. Classic Cabernet. Classic Cabernet fruit. 
So, uh, yeah, hit me up anytime if you want any wine recommendations, pairings. I'm going to be doing some dinners soon. Shout out to Chef Sean Myers. Came up from Charlie Trotter and is one of the one of the most talented chefs that I've ever met. And I can't wait. We're going to do a wine dinner soon. So um, stay tuned for that. A lot of big things coming. Grinder rules. As you know, I do real estate. If you need real estate, hit me up, but whatever. Um, so that's all I got. Another wine talk in the books. Shout out to Pat Corcoran, Tim Smith, Ryan Arnold, the whole No Fine Print crew.